This is the kids cooking show, DIY, do it yourself, how to make fried pickles. Now, now less than five you don't got to be an expert or anything like that when you're cooking in the kitchen or making fried pickles, but you do got to know how to cook. I mean, you must have at least fried some chicken before. Use cornmeal, use flour and salt. Look lovely, lovely don't they? Yeah, I knew it. You see we have our egg mix with the pickles already ready, and then we got our batter. You always want to dry your pickles before you stick them in the eggs, and before, before you stick them in the batter, all right? So get you a napkin, a paper towel, or something like that, and dry your pickles off. You don't never want to dip pickles that just came out of the pickle juice into the eggs, into the batter. It's going to mess up the whole thing. Then your batter won't even stick to your pickles. Okay, okay, we got those. I'm going to go ahead and take a few more. Throw them on over there in the batter. According to pickles.com, elastic pickles have less, less elastic than any other pickle in the world. Elastic is the way to eat. Puts the V in plastic. Elastic. Cut, man. Who, who in the heck wrote this? Who wrote this script? Okay, I'm done. You gonna get those ready? Don't be shy. Don't be shy to dip the pickle. Batter it. Yep. Ain't nothing like a good fried pickle. Now the question becomes. A lot of people on my show want to know, well, how do you know when the pilka is ready? Well, Y'all see this? When your pilka floats to the top of the water like so, it means it's pretty much ready. Now, I want mine to brown a little bit more, so I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. I take some more pickles out of the batter. Flip that over. Get that in that egg. Don't be shy. Do not be shy. Don't spray the egg. Do not spray the egg. Remember, you spray the egg, you spray your taste. It's kind of messy. Now, this is a messy ingredient, but I promise you, at the end of the show, it's well worth it. I have y'all coming back for more. See this? I take my time. There ain't no rush. You always, always, always want to make sure your oil is heated up to a good, good temperature before you drop your pickles in, or else it'll be a waste of time. Then you'll be eating oil. Yeah. You want to heat your oil up to at least 350, 375. All right. How do I know? The temperature of it, easy. Before it got too hot, I just stuck my finger in it. That's how you check the temperature. Before it gets too hot, you just stick your finger in Okay, no, nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Look, you don't stick your finger in it. You just guess. I mean, of course you got to be a good cook to be able to guess like that. You know, hey, I've been meat. I've been cooking for about 25 years. Yeah. I know some of y'all say, hey, he's on. I ain't been cooking 25 years. Look, I started at a young age. Don't hate me, because you wasn't in the kitchen when I was in the kitchen. Now, you might be wondering why I'm on the floor. Well, I got a question for you. Are you sick of arthritis? Are you sick of those bad tendons in your feet? Are you sick of walking around with gout, with nowhere to walk straight? I got a solution for every problem. Get you some heat wraps. CVS Pharmacy heat wraps. They were just method. You stick the heat wrap in a pouch. You put this on your ankle. Eight hours worth of heat for your sore ankle. CVS air activated heat wraps. Can't go wrong. I feel so much better. Eight hours pain free. Who's gonna go wrong with heat wrap? You know what I mean? Back to the drawing board. Now, see most of those fried pieces are already ready, so I'm gonna have to pause the show for just one second. Just give me a few seconds and get right back to you. Hello everyone. Save for getting dry skin when you get out the shower. Get that weird feeling in your body. Like, I'm so tight. I can't go to sleep. I need lotion. Aha. I have the cure for that. Get you some body wash. By Olay. By Up and Up. Deep moisturizing. You can even compare this to Dove. So you can see. This is deep moisturizing body wash. Nutrient Moisture, New Deep Nourishing Body Wash It's what gives us the refreshing experience that we've all longed for when we get out the shower. Like me, oh, I feel so clean and so good. You can even put this in your hair. Forget the shampoo, forget the conditioner. Put that to the side. Get you some body wash. Buy up and up. Hey guys, 
Welcome back to a continued episode. DIY. Yeah. Yeah. DIY. Do it yourself. How to make fried pickles in less than five minutes. Now, in the first part of the episode, we showed you how to create your own batter. Show y'all to use cornmeal. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> One second. We showed y'all to use cornmeal, flour, salt, pepper, and about 10 other ingredients. I'm not going to name all of them for the sake of people stealing on the show, copyright infringement, stuff like that. But uh, we showed y'all to make your own batter. Uh, we showed y'all to pour your eggs in a bowl, stir your eggs up, and use that as the caking for your batter. You know, so you first put your pickles in the eggs, then you put your pickles in the batter, then you put your pickles in the oil. Only if the oil is preheated to 350 to 375 degrees. Now, we have right here delicious fried pickles. I'll get out the way. Let you look at those. Y'all smell that? Mmm. Delicious, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. And it's just that simple. Easy as cake, right? Now, I know a lot of you looking at the show and you're saying, who can't do that? Who can't? I mean, who can't make fried pickles? Well, to be honest with you, if you can do it, why are you on my show? <laughs> I mean, why are you petitioning me to show you how to create the batter to make your own fried pickles? If you can do it. But hey, I'm not the one to judge. I'm not the one to judge. So I'm going to leave that where it is. It's not going to cause any problems. But uh, you always want to make sure you clean after yourself. Rule number Rule number five or six. You always want to make sure you clean after yourself. Don't be nasty. Now, you know, I, I know some of y'all, y'all look at my show. Now, I know some of y'all got these little comments you want to say to yourself. Uh, Mama, how he going to teach somebody how to cook? He ain't got but three subscribers. <laughs> well, you know what? That's more than what you got. I got three strong, loyal subscribers. And what you got? Hmm? One like on the video? <laughs> Get out of here. Look, anyway, back to the subject at hand. What were we, you know, we were talking about food. And I'm going to stick to that. Cause, see, some of y'all be trying to make me mad on purpose. But you think I'm going to get mad? Huh? No, I ain't going to trip. But, like I said, once again, fried pickles. Lovely, delicious fried pickles. Less than five minutes. Mm. Mm. The kid is something else. You want to taste that? Go ahead, get your bite. Mmm. Now, I'm going to enjoy these pickles. I'm going to have fun. And y'all take care. I'll see you for episode two. All right. Plastic is the way to eat pickles. Eat it right. This is a copyright of elasticpickles.com.